Hey guys, uh, Jamzam here. As usual, um, I'm gonna start this video by saying that I haven't posted much on this channel for a while. Uh, you know, I, I just want to explain that by th saying that I do uh, put quality over quantity, so to speak, on my tutorials. So I won't be posting much, but what I will be posting will be like the best that I can post at the moment so and also if you like have any requests of what you want me to explain I can I think I can explain pretty much most of what you can come up with because I've had almost 10 years of music production on my back now so I've been in it for a while <laughs> um, so today I want to talk to you about uh, granular synthesis uh, the basics of that, like what it is, what does it do, um, what is the potential with it, and yeah, that's pretty much what I, what I want to talk about. So uh, uh, I'm going to show you three different uh, plugins using granul granular synthesis. First one, and the one that I, I'm using mostly, is Fruity Granulizer. Unfortunately, I think think this plugin only works with FL Studio. I'm not sure though. You can look that up if you want it in some other DAW. Um, I'm also going to show you Alchemy, which um, is a great plugin by by Camel Audio. If you don't have it, I would su su suggest to uh, buy it. Um, it uses additive, spectral, and granular synthesis um, but I'm I'm just gonna show you the granular part, and I'm I'm really not going gonna go into like detail on it. I'm not gonna show you what all of the different knobs do. I'm just gonna show you something I made with it. Um, also, I'm gonna show you a plugin, actually a uh, effect VST called Granalizer, and please don't <laughs> don't mind the name. Um, it's actually a free plugin, uh, which you can download from a link that I will link in the in the description um, and this actually affects your audio in real time so uh, mm, so that that creates some interesting opportunities that I'm going to show you uh, last in this video um, but uh, let's start by actually explaining what granular synthesis actually do uh, what what it does is it it's sample based so you're actually manipulating existing audio and you're not really like uh, generating aud audio which you would do in additive or subtractive synthesis for example uh, so it's sample based and it basically splits your audio up into grains like small small grains which you can manip manipulate in several different ways depending on what uh, what plugin you're using because they're all different um, but um, like some some pretty uh, pretty usual things you can do with it is you can like uh, time stretch an audio clip either through adding some a bit of silence between each uh, small audio grain uh, and you can like affect the grain attack time for example and sometimes release time you can add stereo separation and some like randomness to the whole thing so that uh, you know it skips randomly between uh, different grains in your auto clip. So that's pretty much how it works. Now I'm gonna show you, uh, you know, I'm just gonna like play around with Fruity Granalyzer and I'm gonna use it on a uh, drum loop that I took from the machine drum selection in Contact 5, which sounds like this. Yeah, uh, so basically I just took that, I recorded it into 
uh, Edison and I just marked a loop from the audio put that into a sampler and drag the sample into Fruity Granulizer and then I just checked the loop box here because it's a loop that I'm manipulating and not like something else so yeah that's how I got it into Fruity Granulizer and then you can just prove that man oh sorry prove that there you go so now I have the sample in here and you can play it in any pitch you want and you'll notice that when I play it in different pitches it doesn't actually time stretch your audio file which might be something you want sometimes um, because the regular sampler will you know it will time stretch your clip if you play it in different pitches which Fruity Granulizer won't so that's a good use for it sometimes uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna play this loop in its regular pitch and just tweak the settings a bit and you'll just hear what it does and if you want to go into detail on it I think you can find some uh, some like tutorial aimed at this plugin in particular because I'm I'm not that uh, I haven't used it that much that I can actually like explain one particular plugin in detail I I've just like read about granular synthesis in its you know whole so yeah I'm just gonna tweak some settings while I play the clip uh, and you can just hear what it does Yeah, so that's what it does to the audio. As you can hear, you can create something entirely different from uh, the original sample you load into this thing. So it's really powerful uh, once you learn how to use it. And then, if you want to, you can start adding effects. So I added like an EQ, a blood overdrive, a chorus. So after that, this is what it sounds like. <laughs> So it can create some pretty interesting effects, and then you can like you can load any anything you want into this. So you can load, for example, like a bass sample, like why not, like that, and then. You know. Yeah, <laughs> so it's pretty interesting what you, what you can do with it, uh, especially like if you want to try something interesting, you can try to load a vocal sample into Fruity Granulizer or any other uh, granulizing plugin and just see what you can come up with. Just try it and see what you, see what you can do. Now here is. So that's, you know, Fruity Granulizer. I don't think I can show you anything more. I think you get it, hopefully, by now. Um, now Fruity Granulizer, no, sorry, Al Alchemy. Um, it's been a long time since I used it. I usually use uh, Fruity Granulizer, like I said. So I can't really explain this plugin 
that good. I'm just going to show you something I did with it. I made this preset like uh, when I was first trying this out with granular synthesis. So here's what I what I came out with from what I think was like. Uh, I I think it's plastic being stretched originally, and then I created this. And then you can just, uh, you know, I, I added some controls down here that controls some, I don't remember what it controls really, but yeah. Um, that's Alchemy. Now, I'm gonna show you the Granalyzer plugin, which is, you know, an effect plugin. Um, it works like this, that it uh, has, you know, A, B, C, D, and E plug uh, sort of presets, so to speak, um, which you can morph between. Um, what I did is I just created like a preset and I linked this morph knob to my uh, to my modulation wheel on my MIDI keyboard and I put this effect on di directly on contact 5 on the drum loop so uh, you know if I play without the effect <laughs> that's the original loop then I can put the effect on it just lags a bit because it's pre it's a pretty well it's a really demanding plugin but it's nonetheless very interesting uh, so if I just like play the loop now and I can start manipulating it with my modulation wheel live uh, and it will sound like this So yeah, maybe you recognize that sound. I know I do. Uh, for example, like uh, Armin Toby and I know, uh, he does a lot of this stuff. Um, and, you know, artists like him, you can really hear that they use this technique a lot of the times to create really unique uh, sounds like abstract uh, audio pictures and stuff. It's hard to explain, but yeah. Uh, so that's granular synthesis, and I hope you learned something good out of this, and that you can use it in future music. Obviously, it's mostly useful for el electronic music. Um, I don't see how you could use this in uh, like acoustic sounding music because it would just ruin everything basically so yes uh... thanks for watching if you liked it thumbs up if you don't like it uh... you know i would prefer you leave it <laughs> if not thumbs it down comment subscribe all that stuff and peace out